I'm picking up a question for two spooky witty life questions. Today's two spooky life question is what's your favorite scary movie? Scream, get it? Oh, it's a it's a scream quote. I don't get it. And then there's a bunch of haws at the end. <laughs> See, I, I wrote this question and I don't know why, because it's basically like asking me to choose my favorite child if I had children. <laughs> Because I'm basically the biggest horror fanatic you're ever going to meet unless you know someone who is a horror fanatic in which case They may or may not be more so than me uh, My favorite scary movie. I I have a shitload of sc uh, favorite scary movies. I I'm I am a horror movie buff I I love watching horror movies. I really like movies that are more suspenseful like I don't like I'm not like Freddy Krueger. I mean I'll watch them, but I don't like Freddy Krueger or or like Jason, or like Mike Myers. I don't find them as entertaining as I like the really creepy, suspenseful ghost movies. Now anyway, my favorite scary movie uh, would have to be Saw, all of them. I ab like absolutely love that series. It's so good. So I don't know that I'm going to pick a favorite movie per se. I love the Halloween series, the original one, mostly, because I like the originality of it and stuff. No, I'm gonna fuck it. The favorite movie is Return of the Living Dead, hands down. Like the original, like the first woman in black, that was pretty good. Like I like the, the scariness and the creepiness of it. Make a, make a point every year, the week of Halloween, to watch Saw, uh, you know, one through seven. Which, it takes up a it takes up a week. It's very nice. Sometimes Halloween's in the middle of that week, but eh, you know whatever. But that's not necessarily a horror film. It's more of a black comedy, or I guess a dark comedy, since that particular thing has kind of been hijacked in recent years. My, uh, I think one of the first movies I seen was not the the first Halloween movie, but actually the second one. That the second one is kind of creepy, especially since. Uh, it takes place in the hospital and stuff, and Michael Myers is just slowly getting uh, Laurie Strode or Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, um, you know, trying to kill her. In, in that, like, that it's pretty suspenseful. I feel like that's racist. <laughs> oh god! I'm really excited to see um, the movie coming out soon, Crimson Peak. Which, by the time this airs, it'll probably be out. I don't know if it's good, but it looks interesting. I like the art direction that it has, so I'm really excited to see that. Um, I also like a bit of the Friday the 13th series. I mean, I like the I like the first few movies, um, like, but as it goes on, I just don't really like the other ones. Uh, I'm a big fan of like 1980s era stuff. Uh, Night of the Demons in particular kind of sort of got me into the whole thing. I think actually, when I was younger, I saw the Thriller music video uh, because my cousins, when we were down on vacation, I think it was like three or four, decided they were gonna sit me down to watch the Thriller music video, and the moment that motherfucker turned into a werewolf, up those stairs I went. I don't know if you can consider this a, uh, like scary, well, I guess it could be a scary movie. I love the Saw series, too. The Saw series is fucking awesome. Like, each and every movie, I just love it. There's, uh, rumors that Saw 8 might happen, and I'm excited. Other people I know are excited. I mean, it might not be very good, but you know, still excited. Damn it! Just went top of the stairs. My dad, you know, kind of a scary dude if you don't know. Him. Ran down there and was like, "What the fuck is going on?" But ever since then, ever since having my shit scared out of me by the Thriller music video, no less. Um, pretty much obsessed with horror movies, and Night of the Demons definitely got me started back in the days of yore when Blockbuster was a thing and you could rent things like Sleepaway Camp. Anyone remember that? Sleepaway Camp? No? Okay. I guess there might be rumors that they're gonna have another one, right? Another Saw movie. Which I really hope. I really fucking hope that there's another Saw movie. <laughs> <laughs> if you're old enough to remember Sleepaway Camp or if you've seen it, I'm telling you, it's a good one. It's fun. It's fun. It's not the best movie ever, but it's fun.
Even though I like the original ha uh, Halloween, I love the Rob Zombie ones too. The Rob Zombie ones, I, I gotta give a hand to that too. I love Rob Zombie stuff, especially House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh fuck, yeah. But yes, if you want a good movie, not necessarily a horror film, I mean it's a zombie film and it's pretty gruesome, don't get me wrong. Return of the Living Dead. Oh, I know I could say it. Probably my favorite uh, scary movie is The Conjuring. I really liked the true gritty scariness of it. Now, anything 1980s horror or even 1970s really is good. Recent years it's kind of been going down the shitter. You know, there's been a few gems here and there like The Conjuring for instance. That was, that was a good one. Really enjoyed that movie. So anyone who says otherwise with that one, go fuck yourself. It wasn't gory. It wasn't necessarily like overly overly like slasher it was a true it was a true ghost story and that was so cool you can you can talk shit about what's the other one the second one annabelle annabelle you can talk shit about that one it wasn't a great movie but that movie no, no spoilers here no spoilers here but if you know if you know the scene there's an elevator it's scary as fuck even like annabelle the second part the part with the elevator opening over and over, I was screaming literally every time that the fucking thing opened. Please don't get excited. You can hope. Just like we hoped that, or I hoped that Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 was gonna be good. And then, yeah, just shout out, plopped. Sherry Moon Zombie. Oh my God, even though she's a psychotic bitch in that, oh my God, she's fucking hot. <laughs> I could, I could probably pick a favorite child much easier than I could pick a favorite horror film. And I'm not even joking when I say that. Not even joking. Yeah, and that's why I don't plan to have children. Ghost Stories, Annabelle, Conjuring, Go See Crimson Peak. I'm sure it's really cool. Um, hopefully. I'm hoping I'm not sending you guys to the, see this movie and it's awful, so. <sighs> Saw. Well, wasn't that just a horrible, horrible question, everybody? It was. Yeah. I don't know how I could have answered that. But I, actually, yeah. I came up to a really well, good conclusion. You gotta, you gotta let... With me, I'm basically the biggest horror fan on Earth. Yeah. And this, once again, was like choosing a child for me. But if you enjoyed that question and what you saw here, go ahead and just crank that like button for us. Go ahead and drop us a subscribe so you can keep up with us in the future. And then... You could also put in the comments what your favorite scary movie is. And if it's pulling, you know, you know, your children apart, just like it was for Tim, basically um, you're screwed because you fucking have to pick one. Also, put down there which question you would like us to answer because we love to answer all your fantastic and or terrible, because this was in essence a terrible question for Tim, but it was actually not too bad for me once I broke it down and thought about it. So just throw that down there and maybe we can give you the credit right there and a high five, maybe like some kudos and whatnot. You're gonna have to do the high five all the time now, everybody. High five! There you go. You, did, you see what happened there? You're gonna pause the video at that spot. Each time I did it, even, even now in this one. <laughs>